Today, at the Professional Developers Conference, Microsoft gave the world a brief look at the next version of their web browser, Internet Explorer 9. The next generation of the browser hopes to catch, if not surpass, the rest of the browser field. Let's take a look at what's on the way. While very early into development, already Internet Explorer 9 seems to have a good head start over its predecessor. While it will not use the WebKit engine that powers a multitude of browsers from Chrome to iPhone Mobile Safari as had been previously rumored, it appears that it's not needed. While the very early builds still lag behind the rest of the field in straight JavaScript performance, it runs very similarly to the best in a more well-rounded test, SunSpider. It's doubtful that Internet Explorer will jump to claim the crown of fastest browser from the dead last position it's in right now, but as long as it makes up a good majority of the gap, then it likely won't make that much of a difference. Among other improvements on the way is HTML5 support. Considering that some smartphone browsers support it, that's not saying all that much, but there's no doubt that it's great news for the Internet in general that Internet Explorer is going to continue to adhere to the latest web standards. One innovative new feature that will be supported is hardware acceleration using Direct Write and Direct 2D for text support. This should improve both the appearance and performance of websites without the sites having to recode to gain the benefits. While certainly a brief preview of the next generation of Internet Explorer, Microsoft appears to be continuing to try and keep their browser competitive with the rest of the pack. With its market share rapidly decreasing at the hands of Firefox, Chrome, etc., Internet Explorer 9 really has to at least stem the flow of dissenters. No release date was given, but it will likely be released at some point in the second half of 2010.